All right, welcome back to my YouTube guys. If you're new here, hello, my name's Olivia. Um, we're back again for another navigation try on. It's the first launch of the year. It's gonna be on March 9th at 10 a.m. EST or 7 a.m. PST. You wanna set your alarms because we have new styles coming and I think they're gonna sell out. Um, something different this time, my support code, which is Lydia, is now going to be turning into a discount code as of March 9th. So I'm super excited that they finally decided to do this. Um, they're jumping on board with the other brands that do this. Um, so if you do use my code at checkout, it will give you a discount from now on. And I also am running a private giveaway if you do choose to support me. So if you do support me on launch day and you find my content helpful, um, please DM me your orders so that I can enter you into my giveaway. All right, let's get into it. Uh, for reference, sizing wise, I am between 130 and 134 pounds right now. I'm 5'2", my waist is a 26, my glutes are about 38 and a half, 39, um, and my bust is a 32C. I got all my items in extra small um, bras, extra small bottoms, and I got a medium in the men's crew. All right, they are leveling up their catalogs. <laughs> So we have so many new styles coming and we're going to go through everything, um, sizing, how are things inconsistent, are they more consistent because I know in the past there have been some inconsistencies, um, what's sheer, what's not sheer, uh, and all that jazz. Okay, so starting off with a new item, it's the Lift Seamless Legging. I think that the Lift stuff this launch, the shorts and the leggings are my favorite item this launch. Um, and you'll know why in a second, uh, but I do think they're also going to sell out. So if you have your eyes on them, make sure you are on there to get them. <laughs> the three colors launching are going to be pastel blue, meadow, and then the pink. So even though they're high waisted, um, the contour leggings that we're used to, uh, still have a longer ribbed band than the lift items. So if you can see, this band goes till here, and then this one goes till here. Ashley said it's if the new scrunch, like the softer scrunch and the contour shorts or the contour material had a baby. There's just something about the material that is unlike any of their other styles. Um, and I'm personally a really big fan. So it does have a um, textured contour shading. They do say they have a compressive waistband. I would say it does give you a little bit of compression. However, not as much compression as you get in like the contour leggings. So they have this lift detail, which really does lift the glutes. Um, this The material is like stretchy enough that it does really go into the glutes. And then the rest of the legging is textured. It's a really subtle texture. I'm trying to show you, but it is textured all the way down the leg. When they're on, you don't really see it. They do just have a very plain look. I only have the bubblegum pink, um, but I do have all the colors in the lift shorts. And to be extremely honest with you guys, full disclosure, you'll see when I've got them on. The blue, which, is this color just in this area that isn't doesn't have that extra um, texture goes a tiny bit sheer at like on a leg day at the bottom of my movement so like when it's like stretched to the max like at the bottom of a Bulgarian split squat um you can actually go look at uh, a workout I posted on Instagram it's not enough that I wouldn't wear them but just heads up they do they're very stretchy this launch so when it's stretched to the max and it's a light color, just a hair sheer. Um, but like I said, not the end of the world. I mean, if you're concerned about it, maybe don't get the blue or if you do love the blue, I still wear it for leg day, but if you're not comfortable, you could also wear it for an upper body day. I don't really think you can go wrong with any color. It's totally what you want. Um, and I'll show you the leggings. All right, so now that I have these on again, um, although I said that the waistband, like the ribbed part is shorter, they are still a high rise legging, just to confirm. Um, here they are from the front. So you can kind of see ugh, the detailing here 
And then the rest of the leg is that textured fabric I was telling you about. Here they are on the glutes. So this under portion, like the entire legging has a little bit of compression, very light, um, but it really does lift up your bum like the name. Here they are from the back, very flattering. And then the texture material does go down. So here they are. I would recommend these leggings. Um, these and the lift shorts, which I'm gonna put on next, are a top item of mine. Sticker test. Well, I wanna say I'm like a little confused by these. I more so noticed it in the blue when I filmed myself at the gym. I haven't really noticed it in the meadow or the pink. I don't usually do a squat test. I'm still gonna do the sticker test, but I also, I wanna show you because I'm, I'm, I need you guys to see it. To me, when I squat, like, I don't really notice that they're, like, sheer high. <laughs> so awkward. I don't think they are. All right, next up are the Lift Seamless Shorts. So same low down as the leggings. On my short torso, they actually hit me exactly where I'd want them to hit. So although they say high-waisted, they don't feel like they're the same rise as the regular shorts, which again, when I kind of compare where the ribbed, the ribbed band ends, this one ends right here versus this one goes just a little bit longer. I want to say they're in between a mid rise and a high rise, um, on me personally. Um, but my belly button's not like popping out. So maybe they're not quite mid rise. There are some of the shorts that I find a lot more mid rise. Um, but again, these have the detail where you're, it really just like perks your bum up. Really, really, really stretchy. And then that texture that I was talking about on the leggings goes all the way down, except I just find it less noticeable on the shorts. It starts on the front right there. Um, I stuck with my true extra small in these, like I said, same with the leggings. It's not an item that I would size up in just because of how stretchy they are. Also something I want to mention, I did run in them the other day and they did not move. They didn't roll on me. Um, they stayed in place. I don't know if it's because it was sweaty and they just gripped to me, but there are other shorts this slash that do roll. Um, but they just stayed in place the whole time. I wasn't like messing around with the waistband. I didn't have to pull them down. They were exactly how they were from start to finish. So I, I really, really liked that. And I will show you the other colors on. Okay, so unlike the leggings, I feel like these are more mid on me, um, just because like my belly button's right here and that's where they are. Um, so I don't feel like they're like that classic high rise, even though they look like it. Um, they just feel more mid to me, but that is just me. Full length for you. They look like this. I like to play around with them and just adjust them to the length I want. I like having the material to adjust. From the back, like there, the blue is for me the most flattering color. I think just the nature of it because it's light. Um, this one I'm not gonna do a squat test in. I've trained legs in them. I'm gonna preach all day, every day that like I love this color, but if sheerness is something you are so concerned about, Get another color. Sticker test. Yep. <laughs> you can see the sticker. Um, not enough for me to not wear them. I love them far too much. Um, I just don't care that much. And then I just quickly wanted to show the meadow color as well because I think it looks really nice with black and white um, even though there's no matching bra this launch. And very flattering. My top items, lift leggings, lift shorts. I would snag all the colors if that was me, but you make the call based on like how you feel colors you like, squat test. <laughs> um, but they're one of my favorite items. I love the material. They like stay in place for me, so they do not ride up on me personally, um, like some of the other shorts, and they're just very flattering all around. 
And then I just wanted to show the pink on as well. Okay, so now let's go into the mid-rise contour seamless leggings. These are a staple for navigation with a twist. The waistband is obviously lower. I think if you're a short torso girl or you just like a little bit of a lower rise because it's kind of coming back, you'll really, really like these. Mid-rise leggings are going to be coming in gray, candy apple, and pistachio. I have the gray ones. So nothing has changed on them. Just the waistband. Again, these are a very, it's a very stretchy batch for navigation. Um, so super soft, super stretchy. If you've been confused about sizing, definitely stay with your true size. Like these things could stretch for days. So I've got these ones and then I'm gonna compare them to the regular waistband. Um, this material is a little grittier like the other launches. These have definitely gotten like super, super buttery soft. Okay, so I've just lined up the regular contour leggings with the new mid-rise ones. So if I put the where the rib band starts um, and I match them up, that's how much less waist you're getting. Because I have a short torso, I'm constantly having to roll about that much down for them to hit me where I want them to hit me. Um, and that's kind of with every brand. So this is pretty exciting for me because I don't have to do that anymore. I am a fan of the new waistband, again, only because I have a short torso. If you have a long torso, it's personal preference for what you want. Just don't really look mid-rise on me. This actually looks like a regular rise on me um, without the bulky extra fabric. Here are the new mid-rise contour leggings. So I love where these hit on me. They still have the contour here and on the glutes and are still very, very flattering. Um, keep in mind what I've said about the material feeling like a tiny bit different than previous launches we're used to. These ones are a lot stretchier. Um, than the other contour material. The other contour material, material usually has like a tiny bit more of a grit to it, even though it's stretchy, and these are quite buttery. So note that, just so you know what to expect when you get them. Okay, moving on to the new mid-rise contour seamless shorts. These are them in candy apple, which I love candy apple so much, but I have a pair already in the regular um, contour shorts, so I didn't get this color, but if you don't have this color, this color is so good on the glutes. Um, it's coming in the same colors as the leggings, so pistachio, candy, apple, and gray. Again, I would say nothing new here besides the rise. So if you're short horse or galley and you wanna start collecting those mid-rise, grab them. Material on this launch is like a lot stretchier. So keep that in mind. That doesn't mean I would size down because when you're stretching material to the max, you could run into sheerness. So don't expect what you're used to expecting with like that slightly grittier stretch. They are very buttery soft. Lining them up again, bottom to top, this is how much you're losing on the short. From the side. Here are the mid-rise contour shorts. So again, the really nice thing is where they hit on me, not rolling them down. They're very flattering for my torso. Um, everything's the same detail-wise. I will say out of all of the shorts, um, these and the digital rolled up a little bit, which I'm not used to for the contour or the pro to do. I think it's just because this batch is a little bit um, more buttery soft. Like even now, they've kind of gone up a little bit. They still look good, but just beware if you're someone who does not like that, um, they do roll a tiny bit. Digital seamless leggings. So these launch last launch, I was so excited for them. I think they're so soft and so comfy um, and super stretchy. They're high rise. They're pretty unique. They're seamless. Very, very flattering on the glutes. This launch, they're coming in black, candy apple, and periwinkle. I got the black ones this launch. I was so excited for them. They look amazing from the front. They have so much potential, but I do want to bring up an issue. <laughs> the digital print kind of 
plays with your mind a little bit. The taupe in the leggings and the sand color too from last lunch, because they're so neutral, I think you can't tell that it's maybe your skin. You're gonna see what I mean when I put the black ones on though. Um, but it really didn't look crazy on these. The leggings though, because wait till I get to those shorts. If you're going for the black, I'm gonna warn you, I think they look incredible on, but you can see my butt. Um, another athlete who's a friend of mine sent me a video of her at home doing an RDL on them and like you can just see her butt. Um, because that digital print, I don't know if you can see on the camera, is actually a little sheer. So it's the worst in the black. I've noticed the periwinkle isn't isn't as bad or isn't doing it. I don't own them personally on the other athletes. Um, I'm not sure about Candy Apple. The black is looks so good. But if, if that is a concern for you, which it's a concern for me because I couldn't wear them to the gym, um, maybe stay away from them. In terms of sizing for the leggings though, I am a true extra small in them. They've now added like a size, like a fit scale to their catalogs and these ones say they like ever so slightly run big. Um, I'd say maybe for last launch, this launch I think they're pretty true to size, um, but I would just, just stay true to size in my opinion. I don't know if I'd size down in them. Okay, so here are the black digital leggings. From the front, I think they're so flattering. We're back with the higher waist, which is really nice. Um, my issue is from the back. So, I don't know if you can see it in this light. Okay, so I moved my camera into the light because I feel like in some light it doesn't show how sure they are, but I, I just want you to know what you're buying. They are so flattering, but there is the undertone of my skin. So that was that in like direct light. Um, like I said, I still like the fit, so I'd love to wear them on like a walk or like maybe just where I'm not like bending over for a leg day or like bending over to grab my weights on an upper body day because in this light like they're not that bad um but in direct light they are sheer um so it's just you know how you feel you'll be comfortable um but they they are a really nice legging i just had to tell you digital seamless shorts are next I was so excited for these, and I still am, don't get me wrong, but I do have another issue with them. So the sand looks absolutely incredible on her. I'm kind of kicking myself that I didn't get sand, although I just know that that tone probably wouldn't be the best on my skin tone, which is why I stayed away from it, and I got the taupe, and I got the khaki. They're supposedly a high-waisted fit. For me, they feel like how the mid-rise feels, the contour mid-rise. Here are the colors that I got. In terms of the rise, again, if I pull up uh, an old pair of like the contour where the waist is supposed to be a high waist, that's not the regular waist to me. That is more the new waistband. So these, in my opinion, that's more similar. FYI, even though they say they're high-waisted, like, don't tell me that's not mid-rise. There's my issue. First of all, sizing, um, the khaki ones fit me a little tighter. Um, I just think they have like a little less give to them than the taupe, like the taupe were a little stretchier, so keep that in mind. Um, two, <laughs> the khaki ones, in my opinion, again, it's the nature of that digital print, you can kind of see my skin through it. But if you look at the post I put as my giveaway post on Instagram, um, you can see me from the back and I'd work out in them at the gym. You can't really see my skin and my butt. Um, so I don't mind. I think the khaki's distracting enough. Um, I think the sand would do the same, but the taupe. <laughs> The leggings don't do this on me, but it's really bad on the taupe. The taupe are pretty sheer. Like, depending on the lighting, I was taking some selfies in my room one night, and I was like, no, it's fine, like, you can't 
see through them. Um, but then I used a flash to take some pictures outside. And from the back, you can see my straight butt skin. <laughs> that sounds so bad. You can see my skin. If you still want to get the taupe, by all means, you get the taupe. Are they probably going to be the number one pair I grab? Not, sadly. And I love taupe. Taupe's one of my favorite navigation colors. In terms of the length, these are shorter on me. Uh, if I compare the contour to these, match the legs up. They are a little bit shorter, as you can see. Um, just because I have bigger legs and a bigger bum, they did roll up and like cut me right into my bum, which some people love and I'm like 50-50 now. I kind of like it sometimes, and I, but I do like to be able to manipulate my shorts. That's why I like a little more length. Um, but just so you know, they are a little bit shorter than the contour shorts. Okay, so I just put these on. I haven't adjusted them so you can see how long they kind of go, but I will tell you they do not stay this length. It's like either they stay long and then they come down here, or if you want to try to get them a little bit higher, you're gonna have to give on the bottom half. <laughs> Out of all the mid-rise, Pairs. I do feel like this one's the most mid-rise on me, like my belly button is trying to peek out, um, but just keep that in mind. And then here they are from the back. So, like I said, the digital print is a little sheer. I feel like in khaki, you can mask it the most because there's more going on with the color. If I do the sticker test, I feel like it's actually a little bit harder to see. So that's actually a good thing. That gives me hope. If I was gonna get a pair of the khaki, um, the digital, I'd probably do the khaki or the sand, if that if you think that'll suit your skin tone, um, because they're the least sheer. But you'll see what I mean when I go and try on the taupe. And then just so you get an idea of the length. They are a little bit on the shorter side, and if I was to like, you know, move around and squat, they are gonna roll up. So if you like to wear your shorts more like cupping, maybe they're for you. Okay, so out of both the colors, these ones definitely feel like a little bit bigger. Um, maybe I would have liked to meet a, a small butter in the khaki, but the taupe does have like a little bit more to it. I feel like they don't sit as low on my stomach either. I kind of like where they hit me a little bit better. Um, like this outfit is so cute, but if I turn around, this, this is my, like, that's my skin. It's not as bad as maybe I was making it out to be, but I just want to be super transparent on here so that you don't buy them and then come back. Um, there's the sticker from the back here. You can see it. The taupe is one of my favorite colors. I do think it's a very cute outfit. You just need to know what you're buying. So here they are from the back. Again, same thing like Maybe these ones feel like they have a tiny bit more length than the khaki ones do, so they just fit a little bit bigger. Um, these are an extra small. All right. So that is them from the back. I do like this material. It is very stretchy. It's very comfy. It's just, are you going to be comfortable wearing them? Maybe it's an upper body day outfit. It's your call. We also have the sport seamless leggings coming back. They're coming in beige chocolate, which is the color right here. Scarlet and charcoal. And then the beige and the chocolate are new. The other ones are restocking. Um, so these ones are high-waisted, seamless, silky sweat wicking. Um, and it's true, now they do say like on the fit scale, they run small because I got these in, an extra small last December. Um, and I remember thinking like, they fit me like a glove, but if I gain five pounds, they won't fit me. Um, so if I was gonna buy these now, I'd probably order a small in the leggings. I have seen the beige. I think the beige are nice. I think they snatch your waist in, as you can see. They are very flattering on the glutes. I do know that they have like a little, little like 
subtle detail right here to accentuate the glutes as well. I feel like I can already tell you without trying them on that like the beige would be squat proof, which is the lightest color because I find them just like a tiny bit of a thicker material. Um, those are definitely like some high performance leggings, I would say. And then we have the contour seamless leggings restocking. That's me. Still so cool. Um, they're restocking in meadow, pastel blue, and pistachio. They're just high waisted. You have your regular contouring that you're used to down the leg, and then the contouring on the glutes. Contour 2.0 seamless leggings restocking in candy apple and black. The black pair are my favorite black leggings that I own. They're the perfect material for like everything. And they have a really subtle glute contouring, which you can kind of see, but on the red and on the black, it is so subtle that you can barely see it. It's here, it runs down the leg and the top, but like you can't even notice it, which I really like. So to me, those are like some of their plainer leggings they have, um, but still very flattering on the glutes, very true to size. I wear an extra small, um, lightweight, lightweight, soft, stretchy, seamless. I would so recommend snagging them in black if you don't have a pair or if you are looking for the perfect pair of black leggings. Charm seamless bra. I'm assuming I would be an extra small in it. It is a low medium impact. It has an open back and then that is your neckline. I've seen it on other athletes and I think it's so cute. It's coming in white pistachio and periwinkle. I think you could not go wrong with a white one. And then if you did want like a set, you could go for one of the other colors. Um, it has a little back twist detail. And yeah, it does say it runs large. Next up, we have the Limitless Ribbed Seamless Sports Bra. It's a halter. I have two like more favorite bras launching this launch. This is one of them. Um, it's true to size. I'm an extra small. I have also tried a small and I just feel like there's way too much material in the front. Two new colors it's coming in are the pastel blue and pistachio. So I grabbed the pastel blue because I obviously wanted it to match my shorts. Um, and it does come in bubble, mo bubble gum pink if you also want to have a matching set. Um, but otherwise it comes in all of these colors. The bra in blue. I think the blue is so striking with the tan. Also to mention, it's like there's not too much material like here. Sometimes I find I have an, I have issues when the bra like is like all the way up in my armpit. This is like the perfect amount that like side boob is fully covered, um, but it's not like digging into that area. So I think that's what also makes it very flattering on the upper body. It hits nicely. It has like a band that's not gonna creep up. If I'm moving a lot, um, I would wear this on upper body day, I wear it on lower body day, um, ribbed material. And then here is the back. This would be another pick of mine um, in terms of the bra, so it's the Virtue Seamless Bra. Here are the colors it is coming in. Um, if the khaki and the candy apple are new, I do have it in black and white and pastel as well. Um, it fits true to size. I'm an extra small in it. It's seamless. That is the open back. These are your removable cup pads. Um, I think it's a nice length on the torso, so you will see it on. It is this, it's this like seamless material with your ribbed band so it doesn't creep up. So here's the Virtue Seamless Sports Bra. It's got the ribbed band so that it's not gonna be coming up as you work out. It's got two straps on the front, very, very soft material. And then here is the open back. That is the Radiance Bra, which looks so good on her. Um, it's coming in periwinkle pistachio which are new colors and then black and white I love the front of it i think it's really cute from the front here is the back so it's got a little bit more coverage on the back with a little mesh panel but i think i was crazy and now that i see the fit scale i would probably get a bigger size so it does say that it is uh that it does run small 
And when I tell you I put it on and I fought for my life to take it off, like I said it's cute from the front. This is the back. If you like it, size up. I absolutely needed a small. I wonder if I can even dabble on a medium. I actually got stuck in it. It was a whole situation trying to get it off. I actually had to ask someone for help. So now we've got a vest, a cloud puffer vest. So it's coming in black, brown, and cream this launch. Those are your colors. Okay, we're dabbling in the men's stuff and I'm kind of excited about it because the quality is really nice. So this is the men's Synergy hoodie. So it's a pullover, drawstrings, hood. Um, it's coming in onyx, which is black, sage, and sepia. This is sepia here, those are the colors. Um, relaxed fit, front pocket, cotton spandex, fits true to size, and it's embroidered logo. So it's not gonna come off just across the front of the chest. I got the crew. I heard, I, I like the crew, but I heard that, I mean, if you're a guy, get one. But if you are like, if you don't have the width of a man, <laughs> in terms of like shoulders, yes, sickos, um, like the build of a guy, um, I heard that the Synergy hoodie fits better. Like it fits your shoulders a little bit better. It just kind of like drops down a little bit more. It's not like, you don't look like a square in it. Um, and I'll show you, I'll show you my crew. It's gonna be the same like, material which feels very luxurious so i'm really really excited about these items uh, but then i guess let's get into it the men's soft crew so i ordered this piece um it comes in oasis blue which is what he's wearing storm and turquoise those are the colors kind of similar relaxed fit crew neck cotton spandex embroidered logo again so it's not going to come off and true to size i got a medium I was so excited about it because look at this color and look at the branding right there. It's so minimal. It's like a really nice weight and if you can see the inside, it is so soft and plushy and I was just really, really impressed with the quality. I actually wanted to get my boyfriend one. So this is a medium. As you can see, it's pretty big on me. Um, it's, it's just like I can't tell you enough like how soft and plushy and cozy and like luxurious it feels um this is the medium so what i would do is like just because i'm small <laughs> um i'd roll the sleeves because that also kind of like pulls down the shoulders like i like it like this with shorts i think it's super cute you like this look or maybe you're like a taller girl I highly recommend this item because it is so luxurious um, for the price. It's so cozy. Or if you boyfriend. <laughs> um, I might have to snag a few for mine. <laughs> Last item is the Men's Elite Full Zip Hoodie. So again, it's gonna be the same. Oh, this one's cotton polyester. Ah, just kidding. I have a feeling this one might be like a little bit thinner than the crew and the pullover. Um, full zip, true to size, embroidered logo. Again, this one is, let's see if you can see it. This one is right here from the side and the back. Get your mans some things or get yourself a pump cover. Um, it's coming light gray onyx, which is black and copper brown. Okay, we made it through everything. <laughs> If you're still here, thank you so much. I know that's like a lot to cover, um, but I do kind of like to give you guys as much detail as I possibly can so you can best prepare for the launch. My top item this launch is going to be like anything lift, the lift leggings, the lift shorts. I am such a fan of, and if you have a short torso, I do like the new mid-rise contour stuff. Um, or if you have a long torso and you like that look, I think it's really cute. So if you did find all of that helpful, I would love it if you could use my support code. It's Lydia at checkout. It now gives you a discount. It's a discount code. So if you use it, thank you so much. 
please DM me. I'm doing my private giveaway at the end of the month. Um, the launch is March 9th at 10 a.m. EST, 7 a.m. PST. And because there are these new styles launching, like I said, you're probably gonna wanna get on it before. I don't want you to miss out on an item that you really wanted. I just wanted to say hi. <laughs> um, when new styles, oh my lord, okay. Okay, okay, you can go. When new styles come, they do tend to sell out because people are curious about them. There's a lot of hype around them um, and they are really good products this launch. So set those alarms. And if you did find this helpful and you made it all the way, thank you so, so much. And I will see you next time. All right, bye.